Welcome to the San Antonio Baptist Association Urban Missionary Training Center. Today we are in video three of four videos in a series answering the question, what is a universal process for developing leaders? Today we're looking at something that Ralph Winter wrote in 1999, four P's of a mission church relationship. Here are the four videos that we are doing in this series. What is a universal process for developing leaders? By universal, we mean that it applies to all cultures, all languages, all time periods or all eras, and in all contexts. This universal process is a basic pattern of leader development, which has been around since ancient times. This training process has been used in many fields of endeavor, not just within the church, but in lots of different career types, career paths. It's been used in ancient times and is currently still used in on-the-job training in many contexts. Ralph Winter came up with four stages, a four-stage process applied to church starting from a missionary perspective. We've been talking about the four-step process which is demonstrate, help, observe, and launch. I want to take that pattern and show how Ralph Winter does the same pattern, but from the perspective of starting a new church. What is different between someone who starts a church and a missionary starting a church? If a pastor starts a new church, he is intending to become the pastor of that church. But if a missionary starts a church, he is intending to raise someone else up to in the process to be the leader of that new congregation. He does not intend himself to be the pastor of that church. There's a distinct difference and there is a distinct process difference in, in starting two different types of churches in that way. Ralph Winner's four-stage process is pioneer, parent, partner, and participant, and we'll look at those four. In the first one that we call demonstrate in the church planting process, a missionary goes to a people group and begins the process of demonstrating or communicating the gospel. He is demonstrating how the church is to be started. He is demonstrating how to teach God's, God's word, how to baptize, how to do all the things that a normal church does in its function. The missionary must lead and must do the work himself. There are no believers. He's demonstrating to others how this process should take place. But in step two, he is helping. He is transitioning from no believers to some believers. He is discipling them to be the leaders of the new congregation. One of the interesting statements here is the parent must avoid paternalism. In essence, what happens here in some cases that can stunt the growth of the new church start is the missionary does not allow the development of local leaders to take leadership. The missionary likes doing the ministry himself and does not want to transfer leadership to the local leaders. He wants to do, continue to do it himself, so he stunts the growth of the local indigenous church from being helped in this process, what we're calling the help step, Ralph Winter calls the parent step. Then we look at the step called observe in our process where the teacher observes the student doing the process to make sure that everything is done as it should be done. And in this process, according, or in this step, according to Ralph Winter, there is a change of relationship between the missionary and the church. The church is coming of age and the missionary is allowing and observing to make sure everything is done the way it should be done within that language and cultural context. So this is step three. Step four is what we call launch, Ralph Winter calls participant, where the local church is participating as a fully functioning partner in this process. That local church is doing what it has been 
observing from the missionary, it is replicating this process in its own cultural context. Proverbs 27, 17 says, As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. Who is your mentor and who is your disciple? As we've talked in the previous two videos, if you do not have someone who is investing in you and others to whom, in whom you are investing, then you need to take some time and answer these two questions. Identify someone who can invest in you, who can sharpen your skills, who can help you in the process of becoming more in the image of Christ, developing into the image of Christ. And also, who is your disciple? Who is someone that's in whom you are investing what God has given you? Here at the San Antonio Baptist Association, we exist to connect, encourage, and support churches for kingdom impact. If we can help you in any way, please let us know. Thank you for watching this video.